Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our time together today. Today is Saturday, March 25th, 2023, and welcome to our time together. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith and read in the Upper Room Daily Devotional together, share in some scripture, prayer, and reflection. Um, if you're stopping by now to join me live today or even a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind dropping a comment below, we always like to know which ones of our friends um, stop by for the day. And I hope everybody is having a great start to their Saturday. Give everybody a few minutes to hop on. We will be in the book of Jeremiah today, so if anybody has their Bibles and would like to follow along, you are more than welcome to do so in the book of Jeremiah. Um, or if you just want to listen along, you are also more than welcome to do so as well. Good morning, Jack Dunbar. It's a pleasure to see you as always. Good morning, Shirley. Hope you're having a good start to your Saturday as well. Good morning, Barb and Chris Mueller. Good to see you today. Everybody, another minute or two, and then we will get be again. Good morning, Barbara. Good to see you today as well. Okay, Jeremiah, and we will be at chapter 18, verses 1 through 5 today. Jeremiah, chapter 18, verses 1 through 5. And I will be reading out of the Common English Bible. Jeremiah received the Lord's word. Go down to the potter's house, and I'll give you instructions about what to do there. So I went down to the potter's house. He was working on the potter's wheel, but the piece he was making was flawed while still in his hands, so that the potter started one and so the potters started on another, as seemed best to him. Then the Lord came to me. Our focus verse for today is Jeremiah 18, verse 4 of the NRSB, and it reads. The vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he reworked it into another vessel as seemed good to him. Our thought for today is every day I will look for the miracles that God sends my way. And our devotion today comes from Claudia of Texas, and these are her words that she shares with us. Finding Encouragement I was brought up in a Jewish home. But on Easter Sunday, when I was 50 years old, I was baptized. The Holy Spirit entered my life, and I became a new Christian. One day, I went to my favorite cafe and found the upper room on the table. I read every story for the next month. I knew the Lord intended for me to find it. It encouraged my new walk with Christ and my thirst for understanding. Eleven years later, a friend and I were walking around the nearby university campus and found a small chapel. The upper room was on the table inside. I instantly remembered it and told my friend about my first copy. I took one home. As I read the real life stories from people around the world who have a special relationship with Jesus, I was united with the writers. Over time, I came to realize that I do not have to give up my Jewish traditions to have a relationship with Christ. Walking side by side with Christians has helped me find inner peace and also peace in my relationships. And the Lord brought the stories in the upper room into my life just at the right moment. Um, something comical to be saying about the right moment. Uh, my son and my husband just got home from his gymnastics. So you, the commotion that you're hearing in the background is them. So, um, our prayer focus today is the readers of the upper devotion, but I like how our thought for today is every day. I will look for the miracles that the Lord sends my way. Um, and our author today was brought up in a Jewish household, um, but over time was able to, um, gain understanding and knowledge over the Holy Spirit and was baptized Christian. Um, I love it when I hear stories about people that have a strong faith, but also find other faith elements that they um, like to participate in. 
um, when thinking about our home, um, and I bet anybody from St. John's that has ever been here probably doesn't even realize it, but um, at our front door, we actually have a mezuzah, which is um, what mo which a lot of Jewish homes have, um, and there's a little scroll inside it, and then it's at an angle, and then there's some scripture on it. But basically, the kind of thought and the meaning behind it is that you keep the swirling and the... I don't want to say chaos, but the busyness of the outside world outside your doorstep. And when you enter your home, it is a place of peace and sanctuary. And I love that element um, of the Jewish faith tradition, that your home is your sanctuary, so to speak. Um, and my husband and I, we've always kind of thought of our home as our sanctuary. Um, we haven't gone on many trips over the year because we always end up, you know, if we have any extra money, we always end up putting it into our home. Um, because this is where we live, this is where we dwell. Um, it's not just a house with four walls, it really is our home um, that we have lived in and we love um, for the past 12 years. Um, and I know other people that um, have found different faith elements and traditions um, along the way that they have adapted into their life and into the, their world and everything. And I love it when I can hear um, how people have incorporated different things. But really at the heart of all of it is just gaining a greater understanding and acceptance and knowledge. Um, the more knowledge you gain, the more that you understand and that you learn that other faiths and other traditions and other cultures, um, they're not something to be feared or something to run away from, but something that we can embrace um, and enrich and add to our lives. It doesn't have to be an either or, it can be an and, you can add to it. Um, and normally when we add to things, it just makes it greater. So more blessings um, upon all of us. So as you go forth today, think of your life and think if there's any faith traditions you've wanted to learn more about, more that you've wanted to maybe add into your life, or maybe you have some that you have already added in that you want to share with others or with me. I always like to um, hear what other people do. So let us end our time together today in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the people and stories that encourage our faith. Help us to follow the path towards love that you have laid out for us. In your name we pray. Amen. And good morning, Susan. Thank you also for joining us this morning as well. Um, those are all of my thoughts that I have for today. Um, I look forward to seeing um, many of you tomorrow morning, either in person or um, online for our um, worship service. Um, 8.30 a.m. Sanctuary, 10.45 um, Sorry, 1030 chapel. Sorry, I don't think I said that right. 830. Okay, words are hard. I can do this. 830 a.m. chapel, 1045 streaming online um, in the sanctuary. So hopefully I will get to see many of you um, tomorrow, um, either in person or online. And hopefully I will get my words together so I don't confuse anybody. Most importantly, I won't confuse myself of where I should be standing. <laughs> well, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again soon. Take such good care. Bye-bye.